What do we have here? It's a 1966 Lost in Space uh, original helmet. I don't know if it's cool or like the nerdiest thing ever, but uh, I like it. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Did they ever wear a helmet like this in, in the show? I don't think so. I didn't really watch the show, to be honest, a little before my time, but, uh, you You're know. telling me old? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. Lost in Space. It was the Robinson family that went in a spaceship in the future, and the future was 1997. <laughs> <laughs> they um, got lost in space and had to go from planet to planet every episode. And it was uber cheesy, but it developed like this cult-like status. Everyone loved it. And everyone still remembers the one tagline. You know, danger, Will Robinson, danger, danger. Where did you get this? Uh, the helmet I got from a toy shop years ago. Uh, and then I heard they're gonna be appearing at a show. I said, you know what, let me go try to get it signed by maybe one or two of them, and they happen to all be there, so. Okay. Had them all sign it and put their characters' names on it. Is there all the characters from it? Uh, everybody except for the doctor who has passed away. That was the real evil, mean guy? I believe so. Okay. How much you want for it? I like 1500 That sounds like I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those weird pop culture things. It's so cheesy, it's cool. <laughs> that was the goal. <laughs> yeah. Let me call my buddy Steve. He literally knows everything there is to know about autographs. Sure. All right, I'll be right back. Thanks. So he's got it signed by everyone except one. Yeah. The, the mean doctor yeah, guy. Yeah, the doctor didn't sign it. He was well, he, he passed, passed away. away, yeah, Jonathan Harris. I will say you don't really see too many helmets signed by these people, mostly photographs. It's rare that people kind of branch out into that, you know, universe. So what are these things worth? Um, just taking a look at Mark Goddard first. Pretty simple signature. Mark Goddard really hasn't changed much. He's got kind of this nice right angle, really nice signature. Can't read every letter, but it's, you know, looks pretty good on there. Um, Bill Mummy, that's kind of the main one I go to. Um, Bill Mummy, really sloppy. He kind of just wipes out the last part of it, and you don't get to see much, but that's a typical Bill Mummy signature. Matches the same thing I've got here in my exemplars. Uh, the last one is really nice signature, June Lockhart. Obviously, she's getting a little older now, so signature's gonna start to deteriorate a little bit, but still, you see the nice signature. Same thing here. Really nice, beautiful signature of her. So signatures are perfect. Okay, so what's it worth? All right, so I, I don't know about the toy itself, you know, what the toy is worth, but I can tell you the signatures itself, you know, you could get these people, but this is so unique presentation wise. So based on what I see here, the presentation of them all, they look very nice, no smearing, they're all definitely good. I put the value right at about $500. Okay but I'm not good with toys, so I'd recommend having your toy guy take a look at this to give you guys an idea what the toy itself is worth. Okay, thanks, man. Yep, good seeing you. This is amazing. Okay, so tell me, are a lot of these still around? No, definitely not. I mean, you see the B9 robot, you'll see that come to market, but you hardly ever see the helmet. Almost always, too, you know, the dome here, the reflector, I mean, this is always broken or missing. You know, and it's amazing that that's all intact. Also, we have all the straps, and those those are all intact with the original rivets, and we even have the chin guard. Everything looks great about this helmet. All right, tell me, what is this thing worth? Because Steve Grad came in, and he's told me the signatures are worth right around 500 bucks. Okay, well, as a toy itself, I could see easily in that four to five hundred dollar range just for the helmet with my value and the autographs value i think you could even put a, a premium on top of that because they put their character names on there you don't see that very often you could easily get 12 to 1400 for this okay man thanks sure so what will we take for it i mean 15 is what i'd like for it not gonna happen. The reality is it's probably gonna bring around 1200 bucks. So what are you offering then for it? 700? No, not even close. You can do better than that. How much would you do for it? Nine. I'll give you the nine if you put on the helmet. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you right over there. Sounds good. <laughs> I guess there's a first time for everything.